Hey guys, what's happening? Ruben here, and uh, today I have a quick video just to show you what Jelly Bean, aka um, Android 4.1, looks like on the Galaxy S2 i9 100. Uh, I've just installed it here, fresh install, so we're just going to reboot and uh, and uh, I'll talk you through it while it's rebooting. So basically, this is a, an alpha port for the Galaxy S2 i9 100. Um, it's based on the Galaxy Nexus Android 4.1 Jelly Bean um, over the air update, hence the Galaxy Nexus boot animation here, very nice. Um, and it's uh, mod it should be using a modified um, Cyanogen Mod 9 kernel that was used for the Galaxy S2. Uh, so once working, uh, it's obviously booting, um, the SD card internal works, um, ADB works, vibration, log cap, that kind of stuff. Um, what doesn't work, being an alpha, what doesn't, there's going to be a lot that doesn't work. Uh, the Wi-Fi doesn't work, the Bluetooth doesn't work, the camera doesn't work, and Google search doesn't work. And I think there's a problem with super user as well. Uh, so basically, it's just kind of like it's a test run where really, you know, it's not, you're not going to be using it as a daily driver. But uh, it's nice to use, and it's nice just to get a taste of Jelly Bean early on the, on this great device that is well capable. Of running it in case uh, in case Samsung don't deliver the update for Jelly Bean themselves. Uh, so just a quick thanks to Last Standing Droid and Clies381 from the X Day forums who uh, who helped port this to our great device. Uh, just to let you know also there's a risk um, of it bricking your device, but we'll head to the X Day thread below um, in the comment and the description box and you can read it all about it. So there's a couple of errors, but as you can see, we're just gonna we're just gonna skip past here. There we get forced closes. I'm just gonna skip past the uh, installation process. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Um, I have done it once before, and it worked, so I'm hoping it works this time as well. Um, I've tried to install the Sierra kernel. Is it? How you pronounce it? The kernel um, that allows dual boot options for the Galaxy S2. Uh, with this ROM, but I've had no luck. Every time I've tried to do that, I'm just getting boot loops. You know, it's just staying in the Nexus boot animation. It's not going any further. Um, but the, the CM9 kernel that is in this um, in this ROM uses the old uh, the button uh, the button Clockwork mod. Um, so a couple of requirements: you have to be have at least Clockwork mod five uh, recovery with a proper backup before flashing. Um, or you may have a hard time using uh, Odeon to uh, to install a new ROM. Do do a backup. Please do a backup if you think of flashing this. Uh, so have you got a Google account? As you can see, this whole Jelly Bean installation is new. Um, we're going to say no, just simply because we have no Wi-Fi, so we can't actually do it. And obviously, as you can see, mobile data isn't working and mobile network signal isn't working either. Uh, so yeah, we have new new buttons down here. This is new in the uh, in the Jelly Bean update. Okay, so I've finished there. I'm gonna jump straight into the default um, launcher. So this is Jelly Bean, pretty cool, right? You've got the on-screen button still. Um, I'm pretty sure the dev will probably take them off for someone uh, when this ROM gets into further development. But uh, but as you can see, really fast. I'm liking it a lot. Um, new notifications. And as you can see here, we're on Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. The uh, the physical buttons do work, but the soft buttons also work. Um, so yeah, we have the time up there. That's new Jelly Bean there. So we have a dam damaged USB storage, but like I said, that's, uh, that's a problem with this ROM because it's still in alpha. So I didn't really want to, you know, I just kind of wanted to show you that it's up and booting. Uh, it's up and booting on this device. So as you can see, we're scrolling through here. And it's very fluid. I'm not going to lie. Um, we'll jump into jump into gallery. See what happens. Obviously, not now. Okay. It's not picking up any pictures, but uh, it's fast. I'll give it. I'll give you that. Jump into messages. We have no network, but anyway. Um, jump into clock. And then it, as you can see, I'm about to touch multitasking down here. It's up already. Very fluid, very nice, very fast. Uh, we're just using another new feature of Jelly Bean, which is to resize widgets automatically. 
as you can see, it moves them wherever I tell it to move. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty cool. We've got the new Google UI search bar, uh, but as you said, that doesn't work obviously because we have no internet connection. And uh, no CTR, CTRT animation for the off screen there. Uh, but anyway, and we have this new kind of, I don't know what you call it, ball effect. Uh, you can hop into cameras or unlock as usual, but now you have the whole Google if you go up. Uh, brings us Google now, etc., which isn't working as of yet. Uh, you can also swipe up from there from the home button and it'll work there as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah guys, that's really all I can all I can show you. Um, you've seen this is you've seen the performance. I can't really show you much else because it's an alpha like I said and not much is working. Um having to play music here. Not gonna let me, multitasking the album off into settings it's pretty cool um, I'm liking it a lot very fast uh, as you can also see the toggles have been slightly revamped and if you can see that uh, so yeah hopefully all these Wi-Fi and data and stuff will be fixed soon so we can have this as a daily driver because I'm just telling you it's, it's amazing so much better than ice cream sandwich it really is um, so yeah, just wanted to show you this ROM um, does include Hotwire Mod, but it's the old version as I'm about to show you here. I'm just trying to boot into it. So yeah, Hotwire Mod version 5.5.04. Um, yeah, it is as you can see, it is a touch-based one. But simply installing, um, I'll in, probably install the Sierra kernel now, um, and it'll give me the touch-based options and the dual boot options. But I won't be able to boot into Jelly Bean for some reason because it doesn't allow me. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This has been my review of Jelly Bean for the Galaxy S2 Alpha stages. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more videos, and don't forget to like.